Hey, this is Stephanie Hi, Megan. Stephanie Megan. You're listening You're to listening. Broke Girl Therapy. Broke Girl therapy. <laughs> therapy is too expensive. You're listening, You're listening. to Broke Girl Therapy. Broke Girl Therapy. Broke Girl Therapy. Broke Girl Therapy. Okay. Water. Are we ready? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Oh my God. So, is this your guys' first tattoos? Yeah. Oh, and it's a sister tattoo. Yeah. What so, made you? What made? What made you decide to get a tattoo right now? Uh, well, it's funny. We were we went to sushi with our friend John, who's also a Libra, because we were babysitting his kids. Yeah. While his wife is at a girls' trip, and we're all eating sushi, and we're like, "Let's go get tattoos." It was a casual Thursday outing. So then we like we go get gelato, and then there's a tattoo shop right next door, and then you know it's just it's two twins with two <laughs> twin babies and three dudes walk into a tattoo shop. The guy's like, "Hey, <laughs> what, what is it again? What's the it's tattoo? A it's a Libra symbol. symbol. Aww. Yeah. Mine has the now, it has a third skin, so it's uh, it shows all the bleeding. But yeah, it's a Libra symbol. I love that. I need a new tattoo." Um, I I just now, don't know what to get. After getting that, I I feel inspired to get my yes, daddy in cursive Wait, tattoo. Have, on how my many tattoos ass. do you have? I have two. I like that one. I yeah, really I love that one. one. What does this one say? This is my grandma's name, Cleo Tilde Leonardo. What what a name! Yeah, I Cleo love that. Tilde. She was a model. <gasps> Ooh, oh. my mom's mom. Yeah, she love was. That. Love she that. was great. Honestly, she was a great grandmother. R.I.P. R- rest in peace. Rest in power. Love that. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot to unpack and a lot of things to talk about. I feel like we always have a million things to talk about. And I again, know. It's hard to get it into like one episode. And it all flows. This so is why easily. we do multiple parts. Yeah. We do like, so if you guys haven't been noticing, like we record two episodes at a time. So that's why every time we see TikTok, we're wearing the same outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I like, changed tops since we're Oh, at, yeah. Shit. Oh, you did? Yeah, since we're since we're at our house, I changed tops. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not... I don't have that level of commitment. I'm so the, wearing the same top as last time. This is the time. same top. So when Cammy is wearing a different Cammy... Get it? Because it's but a I'm tank sh- top? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is oh. Zara. <laughs> so many people would be like, where is that top from? Zara. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Nikki's you guys are actually, matching. Yeah, yeah, Nikki's wearing the same one, just different color. Different color. Same, same, so but different. Cute. Do you guys ever share clothes? Yeah. All oh, the time. all the time. Yeah. All of our clothes. I totally would. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even my designer pieces, I let Kimmy buy. <gasps> Sometimes I'll borrow Nikki's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cl- washed. Washed. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to piss <laughs> people off again. <laughs> no, well, if you, you know. You guys are sister. Like, of course. Well, because I don't and wear clean I mean, underwear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't wear underwear. So, when, like, when I wear, like, a mini skirt and I need to borrow a pair. I have some, yeah. Kimmy okay. doesn't really have a lot of viable pairs of underwear. You don't have a lot of underwear? No. Um,. No, Honestly, I have some old pairs that I am about to try to sell. Thinking about it last time, because we talked about it in the last episode, like not when wearing underwear, and I was like, what? Like, I'm thinking about it now, like, why who, Why did we have to start wearing underwear? I don't know. I don't know. What capitalistic? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just, like, yeah, and I'm just going to throw this out there to anyone listening. If you want to buy my used underwear, oh God. Um, go, That's to, a thing. go to doubleteampodcast.com and fill out a submission form in the contact page. <laughs> and <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, okay. brocotherapy.com at the contact page, you, I will send you my underwear. Like, let me for know. For a price. For a price. For a price. Like, I, like, I will sell it to you. Like, I'm at this point now. Yeah, negotiations life. will start at $40 a pair. Like, I, I, I think about it all the time. I'm like, why am I not doing that? Like, that's I, yeah. such easy money. There's, I have a bag in my closet of underwear that I'm willing to sell. <gasps> have you ever sold underwear? No, I haven't yet. Where do we sell underwear? Okay, there, there's, there's, a, a, there's sites, yeah. Yeah, there is a podcast that she teaches all about selling, like, your your underwear, your fingernails, your bath water, all of that. Okay. She sold her IUD for five grand. <gasps> five grand? Was it? Something like that, yeah. But she sold her IUD when she took it out. She sold it for, like, a lot of money. And, like, the grosser, the better, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I was like, wow. Well, I mean. I what's, know. like, a starting price? Like, what's an entry level, like? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I really think it just depends on, you know. Uh, I, I think really what it depends on there is the um, connection that someone feels towards you. 
will probably dictate the price that they're willing to pay for like your underwear. Your but I don't think I would want to give like an underwear to somebody that like I know. No, also, I mean, you can sell on Craigslist. Yeah, or no, find buyers on Craigslist. I mean, like what happens is a lot of times is you set up you set up a profile online, and they kind uh, of get to know you a little bit through that way. Like they get to know more about I don't you, want whatever. Them to know anything about me? Yeah, <laughs> same. And then and then once they kind like, of feel just like a little bit of my that, panties and give me five hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, if, if you want to buy one pair for forty dollars, go for it you yeah. know oh so is 40 dollars really the price per pair i don't mind yeah I'll, I'll sell it for that because mm-hmm. i have underwear i need to throw away like I, I might as well like put it to use that's what i'm saying instead of throwing it away at that time i just put it in the bag and i was <gasps> like at some point maybe i'll decide to sell my underwear okay and when i do here's the bag Nikki, we're gonna all sell our underwear all and right. like let's Let's see who can make the most. Let's document and see who can make the most. <laughs> All right. Well, we need buyers, but, um, but like, I don't let's know. like research. Like, let's figure it. We'll talk off air. We have a lot of lot of things planned, you guys. Oh yeah, I think I don't think I'd set a price. I'd probably go for best offer. Okay. Yeah. Like eBay. Yeah. 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 So I do a little auction. Yeah. And I'd probably maybe even throw in like the nice lingerie that I wear. Maybe one of those pairs. Can we do that? Oh my god. I'm inspired. The episode idea. Yeah. Yeah. All later. right. But wait, what were what was this episode supposed to be about? Pegging. Oh. Well, More anything but about stuff. anything. Let's just talk about anything. Well, so uh, I noticed on your, you did the Q&A of like, you asked people what topics. And yeah. a lot of them said like anal, taboo, like all those things. And I told this on my pod. I don't know if I told this. I don't believe I've told it on yours. So I thought, you know. I'd maybe share this story. It's a really fun. Yes, tell me the story because I don't think I've heard it. Okay, it's regarding. Am I an- stuffy again? Uh, you were just whistling, so I didn't know if you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I okay. think my just nose just whistles. Oh, mine did that too. Mine does that too sometimes. I yeah. think I'm just really congested right now. I'm totally fine. Um, <laughs> I, I feel know. bad. We just want to make sure you're comfortable. It's fine. No, I totally am. It has nothing to do with you, it has everything to do with me. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sound like we're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's not you. It's, it's not me. you. It's, it's it's me. It really is. Um. So, <laughs> this is one of my most favorite stories ever. I was hooking up with a couple, and mind you, this is the first time I ever hooked up with them. But I'd gone to dinner with them. I got to know them. Everything. Um. Really cool couple. They were both Gemini's. I'm a Libra. I fucking love Gemini's. Wow. Anyways, so um, they brought a bag of toys and they had a lot of like anal toys, anal beads, uh, like plugs, plugs, strap ons, like all kinds of things. Um, Dildos. Like I was very impressed by their toy collection. So like as soon as we get started, they're like, we're putting stuff up your ass. And I'm like, go for it. Like I love anal stuff. Like I've said many times, you guys are well aware. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So. I was need, sorry. Pause. We need to do an episode with you and HK. Why does he like anal? He's gay. Okay. So, <laughs> so everything's through the butt. Oh my god, I would love so, to do that. Yes. Yeah. So butt, butt like, in the butt. We right. Can, we can do an like, anal special. Yeah. And he, like he just. Anyways. A booty moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm like. Meanwhile, we'll be like. Like what? Shivering in a corner. <laughs> yeah. The unexperienced, like. So I was, I think I, at this point I was like going down on his, uh, on the wife and the husband started like putting anal beads in my ass. And just to kind of explain what they looked like, um, the, the beads were actually not that like big. They started off small and they got progressively bigger. Right. Um, but it went from like maybe like the size. I feel like of everyone had that necklace in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. definitely had anal beads necklace in high school <laughs> that looked like anal beads. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I'm trying to early wait, 2000s. What necklace? Yeah. Early, you never had those anal bead necklaces yeah. in the early 2000s. It's like those candy necklaces sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. 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 So um, I would say they started out from like the size of like a dime and then like up to like a little bit bigger than a quarter. Um, so they weren't huge. It was like five or six of them. And then at the top of it was like <coughs> a heart shape. Um, but the heart shape was like, um, what's the word? I'm hollow. For? It was hollow. So like you can like grab onto it. So oh, it's like, a hook. Yeah. So you can okay. use the heart to like pull it out basically. Oh. So you like hook onto the, yeah. Anyways. Okay. Maybe I'll send you a picture that you can include on the video. Yeah. I'll yeah. put it right yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pop up. So we 
Um, so they put those in my ass, and we just, like, continued on, like, all having sex together. It was really hot. They were a really fun couple. Phenomenal time. Anyways, at one point, um, I'm, like, in doggy, and he's, like, pounding into me from behind. And the wife, she, she goes, oh, I didn't know you took them out. And I was like, I didn't take them out. She was like, then where did they go? And because nothing was sticking out out of my ass, like the little heart thing. So we looked everywhere because sometimes when you're having sex and you have anal stuff in, the, it, it pushes I'm so out. Scared. I'm it so pushes scared. out. Yeah. Sometimes it pushes out. And I've had it before too. I had a butt plug in once and I was riding a guy and the butt plug came out as I was coming, which is kind of funny. Anyways, <laughs> so we thought maybe we I had like pushed it out. So we like flipped the entire room looking for the anal beads. Finally, I was like, um, we were like, okay, they're, they didn't come out. So let's, let's check in. So I, <laughs> I will never forget. I was oh like on all fours and the husband was like fingering my asshole. He was like, I don't feel anything. And like, he had pretty long fingers. Oh okay. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. So ouch, mm, ouch. at I this mean, point I'm freaking out a little bit right. because I'm like, where the fuck did they go? Mind you, these things are like, like the start of an ER I, story. Yeah. <laughs> For real. And I used to have a scare of like having a tampon up like while yeah. I was yeah, that's yeah. so scary but having that in your ass fuck I've had that too the the tampon scare yeah. and these are like they're about like six inches long these anal beads maybe a little oh. longer anyways so finally Did you still I'm, feel it in you like I, I, I couldn't like, feel wouldn't anything wouldn't you have like felt something I no? couldn't feel okay. anything no then that's another thing too is maybe because they did did you like so push long? a little bit like <laughs> <laughs> well so I went to I went to the I was like excuse me for a second and I went to my bathroom and I started pushing and pushing, and finally, and I had my finger in my ass, and, like, I had pretty long nails at that time. And finally, I felt the heart <gasps> oh, Lord. The piece, and I, like, kept pushing, and then I just pulled it all out. So. Was it poopy? No. <laughs> it wasn't, actually. It really wasn't. Oh, wow. It wasn't, yeah. Okay. But I was, like, how far up my ass <gasps> did those go? Because imagine, like, a finger, which is, like, probably at yeah, least, like, two and a half inches and then further than that because I couldn't feel them I had to push and then six inches in from that so like these were probably like in my small intestines at this point anyways so luckily they came so out that backs up the fact because remember I said my friend loves to get fisted yeah or he loves to fist yeah and like he like had like up to the elbow into like someone's ass yeah you could do it yeah Your anal beads just proved yeah. All of us. That he, <laughs> Personally, he I will not be going in that journey. But to anyone who does it, more power to them. Yeah. I, I'm scared. So um, so then I, I went back into the room. I washed off the anal beads and everything. And then we all had a good laugh about it. But, like, there was a... <laughs> there was a... Yeah. <laughs> there was a... There was a collective... <laughs> A collective sigh of relief that, yes. that I didn't have to go to the emergency room to have these fucking anal beads I have taken. To tell out. everybody, yeah. Oh my I God. will say this: I have not put any anal beads up my ass since then. I have put butt plugs, but butt plugs I feel like they're wider, right? And I and also the one that I have has a very hard stop to it, so like there's no way it's gonna go in. So, so when you push these anal beads out, did you like? How did it feel? I mean, it's. It kind of feels like taking a shit. I like that. Um, it, I like taking a shit. It's a nice sensation. Like, I won't lie. Yeah. Um, but it oh, it so definitely <laughs> scared me from anal beads for a while. Um, <laughs> but I see the butt you plugs. You the best stories. Like, <laughs> can I just, like, pot? Like, Nikki, if I could just have a, an award... <laughs> like an Oscar of just like the best sex the stories. The most peculiar <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sex story. Like the most oddest shit literally to happen. <laughs> like, it's just like, I would give that to you, but I, here's my water bottle. Let's just, let's just thank like, you. An um, honorary moment. Honorary moment. I'd like to thank, um, me. Nikki, I think, <laughs> and then, <laughs> you're like, I would like to thank me. I'd like to thank, um, <laughs> The my academy. roster, the academy, <laughs> the executive producers, oh, the creative director. <laughs> well, I mean, I am the creative director, the executive producer, the everything yeah. of my sex life. So this this award goes, goes to me. <laughs> <laughs> like in the five years, almost six. I don't even know how long I've been doing this. Six years, maybe that I've been doing this show. I just feel like 
and it's pretty <laughs> close because HK's got some great ones too. <laughs> uh, like you win. Sorry, you. HK. I appreciate that. So um yeah, that was my that was my anal bead experience. <laughs> um <laughs> back to the regular programming. <laughs> This is why my butt plugs are A, for beginners, and B, they have a bunny tail at the end. Guys, yeah, so I've never feel- tried a butt plug. I've only just been, only butt thing I've done, and I've mentioned it before, has been finger. That's it. Okay, pause. It's editing stuff here. I just want to confirm that this was recorded back in May. So I just want to confirm that a penis has been in my butt, and this is not updated, but I'm updating you now. Okay, back to the show. Okay, you should try a butt plug because I think it's a great introduction into anal. And I love the 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 ones that have the tails, like the fox tail, the bunny tails. Yeah, because you'll so feel fun. that if it goes oh, in. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna know if there's some furry stuff up in there. But I, I think the reason that those anal beads did go up is because the top part was like they were silicone, so it was like so it moved it like right. and since it was hollow, like it you know so that you can pull it out, it was very like malleable, so it probably just <laughs> went right in as I was getting fucked. So, yeah. That's so scary. You're a gaping yeah. asshole. Just <laughs> no, but, but there was no gaping. There was no gaping. It just, like, yeah. it, just, it just sucked it up. It just sucked it up. Yep. It's so, oh, my God. I Imagine was, if, like, you just forgot about Like, what if you just forgot? Like, what if you guys... What if you're just, just like, trying to push out his shit? Right, like, you guys, like, no one mentioned it that night, and then you just went home. What about, like... like <laughs> I don't know. know. <laughs> to be honest, like, and I'm thankful... What happened? I, I don't wonder. know. I'm, think, I'm thankful that she remembered the wife. Right. No, yeah. Like... At such an yeah no because it could have gone further. Yeah. Pro tip: That's so scary for anyone trying, um, you know, silicone anal toys. Do not use a silicone lube. Use, it's just not going to do the same. Use a water based. You got to use a water based lube. Mm-hmm. Is a water based lube the best lube anyway? Um, I like. I water, know. I yeah. like water based. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, say. whatever. I don't know about the best, but I prefer water based. I was gonna say whatever good clean love has. That's what I use. I think it's aloe. There's an al- they have an aloe based one. Yeah. I will say this. This is this is a great segue. That couple that I had the anal bead story with, uh, that was actually the first woman that I pegged as well. So the okay. next the next time I went over to their house, Let's get to the next best story. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. So I don't know if I have any. Me, Cammy. Just be sitting here. <laughs> I don't know if I have any significant pegging stories. I've just done, I've pegged women by now, enough women by now where like I've had some really fun experiences with it. Um, but she was the first woman that I pegged. Um, and so they had it was a strapless strap on. So like, you know how you can get the strap ons that like yeah. go like you strap them literally around your waist or whatever. Yeah, yeah. a strap on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, right. Strap it on. <laughs> well, this one instead, it looks like a check mark and the shorter end goes inside me. And then I use the longer end to peg her. I need to see a picture wait, of this wait, what? thing. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 repeat that. My ADHD. It, it looks like a check mark. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And one and the, end goes in her. The shorter end goes of the check mark goes inside me. So then the longer end is sticking out <gasps> like I have a dick. Oh my god, so you're getting fucked as you're fucking her. Yes. <gasps> wait, but yes. how was that stable? Like, did it not slip yeah, like, out? How, no, yeah. no. Did it not have, like, an extra little arm to, like, stay really secure in there? I didn't even know this thing cut, This thing existed. It exists, yeah. Um, so it has kind of, like, a hinge. You should. You should. It has a hinge point, and I, that hinge point is, like, a, kind of what's... So, like, the part that, co- that goes in you, it kind of goes like this, and then there's, like, that hinge point, and then the long one that you fuck with comes out. So then it, it, there's stability there. So, and then... Wow. Yeah. Where do they find that? Uh, actually, at this at the sex shop that I was at earlier, they had one, and oh. I was actually I, I need to go. I back I feel and like buy that it. would be so hot to do with like another girl. Okay, pegging women. Let me just put it this way: the first time that I put that thing inside me and I pegged her, I'm like, I see now why men have the egos that they do. Like to have a penis protruding out of you. Like you're just like fuck. Like I'm kind of. Did you horny. like wave it around a little bit? Like yeah. that like made me feel like horny. Like that yeah. was like whoa. That kind of. You should try it. I, I know should. like that, but it made me realize why men love doggy. Like when a woman is in front of you and you see the the ass. My boyfriend says shape. it all the time. He's like yeah. just. He's like sometimes I have to like look the other way because if I just immediately see your ass, like I'm yeah. gonna come right away. Yeah. He's like, I just want to like enjoy the feeling. It, so many it's that things. Shape, you know. So many yeah. things made sense for me when she was bent you, like, over. Arch it? Yeah. So many things made sense for me when she 
she was bent over in front of me and I was about to peg her. I was like, <gasps> I yeah. want to peg a woman. I want to peg a man. I want to peg a man too. <laughs> I want to peg a man too. You never pegged a man? No, I've only pegged women. Wow. My yeah. my my goal for the year is to peg a man. Now, I will say, um I don't think my boyfriend will let me peg him. The there's one dude that we've him and I have talked about pegging extensively, but every he there's so he carries so much shame around the fact that he wants me to peg him. I know somebody, yeah. I know somebody who loves to be pegged yeah and he's a man straight man nice Uh and i've asked him to be on the show and he refused oh poor guy (laughs) and i'm just like fuck but he would always tell me all about it i was just like oh my god i think he was like maybe the first person that kind of like introduced me to like i like like, talked to me about it i was like whoa and it was like you know this was like a few years ago so it was really just kind of like mind-blowing to be like oh shit like but you're into women like it yeah. goes to show but then like there's still shame in that yeah. you know i think it sh- it says a lot about a man's masculinity if he's willing to be pegged by a woman or even just have his asshole played with by a For woman sure. yeah if I think- they allow that then you know they're on the on they're on the way to enlightenment like yeah. they're they're close i mean their, g- their men's g spot is in their anus that's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. naturally, like, they can naturally fucking orgasm. Yeah. Like, God invented the gaze. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's true. But <laughs> no, no, I, I think so. But seriously, yeah. nothing to me is hotter than a straight man that's willing to let me peg them. Yeah. Thousand percent. Now, I haven't pegged. I cannot wait to achieve this. Yeah. I, I'm also on the road to look for a man to peg this year. And so, and I'm hoping I find it. I don't know. Yeah. We'll do a part two. But I will say this. Experience yeah. this. But pegging women, is, it's a lot of fun, A. B, it really is like a power trip. You feel so like in your masculine energy. And right. you feel like to have like a tool that you're using. You just feel so powerful. Like, I don't yeah. even know how to begin to describe it. And it's so hot. Yeah, just say that seems just so hot just to, like, see a woman from, like, a different, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah. And th- probably the most fun I ever had pegging um, was actually, it was another couple that I hooked up with, um, their boyfriend and girlfriend. And I... Sorry. No, you're so, good. Keep going. I'll just sneeze and sniffle. <laughs> it's just, I've accepted at this point. Sniffle. I love Sorry, that word. Sniffle. <laughs> Um, it reminds me of that <laughs> tissue commercial. That's really cute. Um, so I put the strap on. Now, this was a different strap on. It wasn't the checkmark one. The strap was strap on. It was actually like a strap on. But it. Uh, I would only do the checkmark one because I want to feel something too. Yeah. A yeah. strappy strap strap on. Like you just go like this and you're feeling something like you. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the one thing that is so close to feeling like a man. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry, this is all hitting me. Like, now, like, I get it. We'll yeah. buy you one. Yeah. For your birthday. I want to do it so uh, Her birthday just passed. Oh. Um, for for Christmas? Yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, we'll get you one of those. You know, Christmas is a, a month before my birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> close <laughs> enough. Close so enough. closer. Um, no, I, I do. I highly recommend it. And for, for women, like, pegging women, too, it's just, like, I remember um, it was actually with this couple that I was telling the story about. Um, she was pegging me, but we were in missionary and then I was like hugging her and I was just like in that moment getting pegged by her. I'm like, I see why lesbians are happy without dicks in their lives. Cause they don't need it. Exactly. Ooh. And like, I was like, I remember that was the one moment where I'm like, maybe I could go full lesbo. Um, but I don't know if I quite could but regardless. Yeah. It was just like feeling her like, like I'm, you know, I'm close to her. I'm like hugging her as she's fucking me. I mean, I still feel the sensation of like a penis, but it's a dildo. And like, she's so soft and sensual. It was really hot. I can't say that's actually really fun and beautiful. It was (laughs) like, it seems like very special. Yeah. But the fun part was I put the strap on. Uh, That was when she had the strap on and she was pegging me. So I've been pegged by women as well. Um, And then when I put the strap on, I was in the middle sandwich between her and her boyfriend. So I was fucking her. She oh. was in doggy. Okay. No, no, no. She was in mission. Okay. So she's facing me and I'm facing her and I'm fucking her missionary um, with the strap on. And then he's. And it's also going to you? Uh, no, no, no. This was a. Oh, no, because the, he's, he's yeah, fucking you. He's. Inside me in doggy position. We called it a uh, doggy mission, the position. <gasps> That's kind doggy of hot. Mission, I know. Yeah, doggy mission. I, I actually would like on. to try that. I would love to try that. I would like to try Let that. Let me just say being in the middle position of this is a lot of work because you're really in charge of the rhythm here. Basically, as he was like pounding into me, I was using his momentum to pound into her. Ooh. 
<gasps> and that's oh my like God. yeah because yeah. if you so go you re- like this yeah you and really so you're like and then you're like oh my you really Honestly, have to be on rhythm you really have to be on rhythm every- i yes. was just thinking i would love to do this with a man and a woman but i'm pegging the dude i'm in the middle and then i want the girl in the back so then i feel her tits <gasps> on on my back. Wait 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 wait. So wait wait. You're, you want to be pegging the dude. So he's, he's he's in missionary or he's in doggy. I'm I'm in the middle and then she's pegging me from behind. That that sounds fun because then the, the then you're dad right here. sounds <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I might propose that to this couple. I don't know if he's going to she, be. She's pegging you from behind. Mm-hmm. Now this is a guy that's open. And you want to feel her boobs. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Ever since the last, so I don't know if you heard this, but the last sex party last week, I made out with tits for the first <gasps> time. Congrats. I know, thank you. I've been wanting to like, so, okay, do you guys? And I they were like so nice. I feel like if I was a man, actually, it doesn't matter. I'm a tits woman. Like I just, I'm a tits, I'm a tits woman all the way. A pair of tits. Like I, oh my God. Like, you know that girl, I think you probably will know what I'm talking about. All I have to do is sing the song. Like, Damn, now beat that, that boy with a bat. bat. Damn, that girl's so like titties. I love her. What, how did she do it? Just beat that boy like with a bat. bat. And, and like, then I'm then, like, oh, oh yeah, just. Puh. I could watch the, her I, videos I, over and over again. I am almost embarrassed to admit the number of times <laughs> I watched that video. I probably accounted for so many of no, those views because every time I was just like, my boyfriend has caught me. Like I have to like. <laughs> I have to like show him, like you know what I mean, because I'm just like I hear watch you. Like, this. Beat that boy with the like he hears me. Watch it. My headphones. I have to put hard. my headphones in. I've had to put my head. <laughs> Mine are too. I can't. <laughs> it goes to show. I yeah. am. A, I am a tits woman. I'm, I'm such a t- <laughs> like I love. But the girl, moves. the the titties I made out with were, were so, so nice, nice. so really nice. So oh my nice. god! Did you see her? See her? Wait, did you see her suck the titties? I didn't see her suck them, but did I you know the girl that she. Sucked? I felt the boobs of the girl that okay. she. Yeah. So now I'm on a titty journey. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just love your one-liners. I know, right? <laughs> like she comes she out of been... nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere. Like has... he, I, this is your guys' dynamic. Nikki, you come with like the crazy ass stories, and then C- Cammy comes in with like the one-liners that like yeah. just ties it all in together. It's a, that's the dynamic. Yeah, and I don't even know where I'm. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, that's why, like, that's why I was thinking. I was like, I would love to be in this, you know, pegging trio, but like, feel the titties and so. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I actually am really curious about this position, and I'm gonna propose that to the couple because he's open to having his asshole played with. I don't know Ooh. if he's quite at pegging level, but maybe we could use like a really small dildo, and I could yeah. peg him while she's pegging me. That would be so fun. Okay, so I've fucked a dildo a good amount of times when mm-hmm. I was like dick deprived. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I could never get it to be like, like I, I tried it a lot and I just never really fully came or came at all hmm. because it was always like, I were feel you like manning I, it? Yes. And I just I've never like tried I, that either. Like, I just feel like I, I would do it because I'm just like, I, you know, when you just haven't had dick for so long, you're like, I need something inside of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would shove this fucking I would dildo. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I would shove this dildo. And penetrate it in my vagina. What kind of dildo? Like, can you describe it? Was it was it like actually like a dick dildo, or was it one of those where it it's just like, like curved silicone, and silicone, and like floppy? And it was actually a dick. It was yeah. shaped like a it dick. Was shaped like a dick. Because mm. I've only really ever well, no, for and it was brown to be clear. Because we all know what I like. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's hey, just like the way that. that <laughs> I mean, they're all made differently. Like maybe you just got to find one that really works for you. I mean, the vibrating ones are, I mean, vibrating always is a great go. I mean, I think that the winning but combo is when you put the dildo inside you and then you put a vibrator on I your probably, clip. I probably should have put a vibrator. Yeah. I mean, it's fine now. I, have I mean, dick. the whole okay, trifecta, just that, stick a butt plug in there. Right. <laughs> I have like a dick that I could have anytime I want. So it's fine um, now. But that was like a moment in time where I was like not trying to get involved with anybody so i was like let me just fuck the shit out of this dildo I mean, and it was it. a suction cup okay so i, was I would say. fucking like suction on the floor and try to like <laughs> sorry my tits just sorry about, like i would just like literally bounce on it i'm like trying to like okay maybe it's like pretend that i'm riding yeah and then i was like okay let me watch porn and then i got sad because i wanted to like make out with someone and i couldn't I was just, and i was just like i realized i was just 
fucking a suction cup dildo on the floor and I just wanted to make love. We've all been there. I get that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it never time. is the same. It, it was in the dungeon, the so a while ago. I don't know. Animals are loose. Yeah. But anyways. He's a little chunk. <laughs> He's such a chunk. Oh. <laughs> He's Watch so out for the wires. He's so stiff. I need to put this in the bloopers. <laughs> a little chunk. Now I'm like, uh, now I'm like a little feeling a little frisky, you know? Like I want to go try these things. I know. I'm pissed that I'm in LA and I'm not in like my boyfriend's not here. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I don't want my period anyway, and it's kind of bloody. Mm. It's not the most. Gotta get that sword. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh God! All the comments about like um, a warrior needs right. to get blood on his sword. I know oh someone com- someone messaged us and they're like, "Where, where?" Or he was like, "I'm so happy to hear there are other fellow vampires." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I mean, nothing wrong. With I that. feel like you guys would probably get a lot of guys. I'm sure you get so many DMs of guys just like some that are very into interesting things, and I don't mind it. I yeah. I love to validate them because. Yeah. Um, you know, if someone's willing to explore themselves in a safe, consensual way, you know, and not carry shame for the things that they right. want to do, all the power to them. I don't mind story. I mean, I don't mind, you know, them sliding into the d- DMs if it's like a story time or like something relatable or something they're relating to. But uh, the only thing I don't want is like, I can't wait to have your kids. Or right, something. right. Like, like creepy, the creepy shit. shit. Yeah. Do you guys get creepy shit? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to say. I don't get creepy shit. I have because my listeners are like women, like girls who like want to be my friend. We get a lot of women. I mean, like if you look on our socials, most yeah. of our followers are women. But For sure. yeah, I don't know. If yeah. you look at our Patreon, it's all men. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you, daddies. Thank you, daddies yeah. of Thank you. Patreon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For supporting us through this journey. So back to pegging. So I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't know how I'm not going to necessarily find a dude to peg. Um, but it's I'm surprised you haven't found it. Like I was like waiting for a story about a dude getting pegged. I just oh, now I will. Rare. S- it is rare. I will say this. I had a partner. Um, we haven't seen each other in, in a while, but I did really enjoy him. Um, he was bi, so um, you know he liked getting fucked by dicks. So I was like, "Would you let me peg you?" He was like, "Absolutely, please fucking peg me." Um, but then we just kind of like, it kind of dropped off and fizzled out. So maybe, maybe I should hit him up and be like, Hey, you know, I know it's kind of fizzled out, but maybe we can get together for this shared experience. Right. Like I've been really wondering and like, yeah, I mean, I I remember, you know, someone was asking in our DMS was asking for, uh, tips on anal. So we can always reiterate those. Yeah. I mean, like I always say, and I, I, we did. Or we did say this in the last episode, push out as you go in. And so right. many girls were like, no. And I'm like, that's how you relax. Like, that's how you. And so, I mean. I feel like there's always going to be someone who's going to go against yeah. things that we say. That's just like, I've kind of had to accept it. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's oh. like, that's worked for you, yeah. you know? And like, I just. Yeah. And I had anal the other day and that's what I did. And it worked out and it great. Worked, yeah. It yeah. worked out fine. So yeah. it's like, it's a, you know, a valuable source. I don't mm. know. I will say this. I haven't pegged a girl in the ass yet. And I'm kind of curious to do that. Wait, I thought pegging was in the ass. So you were not pegging her in the ass? No, you peg them in the pussy. For women, you can uh, peg them in the ass or oh, the pussy. That's true. It doesn't matter because it's long yeah. as... I don't know why I just assume if it's like if you're saying pegging, it's like butthole. No, if you peg a woman, it can be in either hole. Oh. If you're a woman. Okay, yeah. so going yeah. back to my question about the dildo and me fucking the suction cup. Mm-hmm. So like, I think that's like my only concern of like, if I'm going to do those type of toys, that, you mm-hmm. know, like with pegging and stuff like that. Like, what are you, like, what type of, like, material is it? What, like, are you using lube? Like, because mm-hmm. I, I feel like for me, I don't know if it's just because I was just going through something, like, mentally and emotionally that I couldn't, like, fully get off. Probably. But, you probably uh, had a blockage. You know, yeah. Like, a mental blockage. Sometimes you have, like, mental blockages that keep you from coming. I've had oh, that. Sometimes I've had yeah, that. I get in ADHD. my head. And, yeah, and I can't come because I'm, like, in my head. And that sucks. Um, Cause then you have to like, you know, really amp up the vibrator and then you're like, <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> you know yeah. what I, for the first time, I'm surprised I'm only doing this now and I'm pissed. I'm only doing this now, but like, I think, I think it was one of you guys that mentioned on the show, like using a vibrator during doggy or yeah, like missionary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bitch. I cannot <laughs> do it any other way. Like nothing. 
oh. fucking compares. I know. I, so good. As, like, in missionary and doggy style, I need a, like, his dick is great. Don't get me wrong. Like, penetrate, like, dick is fine. But, but like, the, the vibrator just adds it to a whole level of euphoria. Oh. That's, like, mm. fucking insane. Mm. Yeah. I came so fucking hard. <laughs> it was so so good like i was like i i just felt i was like why why didn't i do this before like, I, know. I was pissed you and know? you think that people like know this tip but they don't so until like you gotta you gotta spread the message like throw a vibrator on your clip right when they're fucking you from behind or in missionary trust me every which time. brings me to the point that i would really like to put a vibrator around the rim of a dude's asshole and see how they <gasps> like it. So then they know what we feel when we have a vibrator on our clips, you know? Mm. Like, so they can experience right. it too. Like, <gasps> you know what? I need a vibrator right now. <laughs> you know what my partner did? Yeah, I have like four. Actually, it was yesterday. <laughs> um, so yesterday we were having sex, my dude and I, and he was fingering me and I had my vibrator on my clit and then he kind of took his uh, his other hand and his fingers and went like right below my vibrator. So he was kind of because you know how the clit is shaped like you've got like the top part and right. it kind of goes down like this, right? Yeah. So he kind of put his fingers like underneath it, but like kind of to the to the two sides. As you had the vibrator on. As I had the vibrator <gasps> on, and but I'm not. He was just like underneath, like yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, and I was mind blown. Ooh. I came so hard. I was like, I remember I like literally looked at him. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, I don't know. I was trying to see if you liked it. And I'm like, Ugh! and it was amazing. Like amazing. I love vibrators. Yeah. And you got to try different ones too. Like they yeah. make different shaped ones. Sometimes there are others that are like op more optimal for, um, for during penetration. Like the one that I have is like kind of flat and it looks like a little like mouse pad or mouse almost like yeah. you know, for your computer. And so it's easier to put it on your clit while you're getting fucked because it's more like flat and curved instead of like a big rod. Oh, is rod. that the Dame one? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, instead of like a big rod or like the, you know, the I like my little wands. like pocket little thing. The one, yeah, that, yeah. the one that I had in my fucking Instagram photo. The I'll have to one. go back and look which one I that is. I think I off the grid, but the one I like promote, Balesa, the one that I was like promoting. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. That pink one, bitch. Nice. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm curious to try a clit sucker while I'm getting fucked. It was, it wasn't a clit sucker, but it was fucking, yeah. But I bet the clit sucker would be good. The clit sucker scare me. It sounds like a vibrator, but then it has like a hole on there that like you put specifically on the clit. Yeah, and then it like suctions. I, maybe it is a clit, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a clit sucker though, <gasps> isn't it? I don't know, but that fucking pink little thing fucking fucked wow. me up so good. Like, Did your boyfriend like fucked. feel you coming really hard? Like, did I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, <clears throat> I'm, yeah, I would like, that was, that was great i love that and like i never here's the thing is like i never come and not just with, my, like with any guy like i never have ever came through missionary yeah it's hard it's always Ooh. like writing or oral mm -hmm. or whatever but you like know what my yeah you know what my favorite thing to do during missionary is and you need to try this okay instead of him being the one humping right you he stands still you be the one humping during missionary? Yeah. You like oh, from yeah, underneath. That for from sure. underneath. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love coming that way. <gasps> for me, it's just like I don't know. It's if, a workout. It, it's a workout, but like <laughs> it's a probably good lower ab workout. Yeah, no, for then, sure. Like I can feel I But just the way that I come from that is just so oh, so good. Mm. Mm. It was so good. Uh I'm like, I'm like rewinding, like I'm like replaying the sex in my head. Cause it's like, I remember when I, we were doing missionary and I had the vibrator for the first time. I was like, what the fuck? Mi you, and you got a really style. I like tried it for the first time, but then like my, this is when I still lived in LA. My roommate was home um, and I had to stop it because I was like, I wanted to literally scream um, because it felt so good that I was like, I have to save this for later. Have you ever used the Hitachi wand? What's the Hitachi? one so the hitachi wand um it's a wand it's um it's a vib it's a vibrating wand it's marketed as a hand massager or as like a personal massager um but it's basically like this big white wand and it has like a oh i, I see it in my head yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
And that's, um, I, I've, I've hooked up with a lot of couples that have those. And it also comes with this really fun attachment, by the way, um, that's for the man. And so it like, mm-hmm. it's like a rubber, it's like a silicone, um, almost like a pocket pussy. And you put it on their dick and then you like use it. I think you can attach it to the one so that it vibrates too. I need to Don't see Don't quote pictures. me on that. But it, I used it on a guy once uh, when I was hooking up with a couple and um, I used it on him, and I absolutely love that for hand jobs. So highly recommend there. But what I, what I was going to say was try the Hitachi because it's so powerful. Okay. It's kind of hard to use during partnered sex, but you can do it. But, like, you will literally, like, see God when you use the Hitachi. Oh, my Let God, I believe it. it. I just want to get and collect, like, more vibrators. Yeah. Like, I just... The last but time then I, I get really attached, like I'm like that with men. I get really attached to like one vibrator until like, oh, it breaks. Yeah. Yeah. I have my favorite. I'll have I'm the same it way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. But the last time that I used the Hitachi was with the couple that we did doggy mission with when I was pegging her, and um, and then later on I, I had her when we finally like removed the strap and everything. I, I was just pictures of all these people. We're not gonna obviously air it, but I just like I need a face. Oh, I'll show to you pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I think because this is sounds so hot that I need to admit. No, I totally Is that get weird it. to say? No, no. I'll show no, you pictures. No, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm like, I think they're all hot. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I was using the Hitachi and I had her sit on my face and like I came as I was eating her out. And that's like, for me personally, one of my most favorite okay. positions. I have a question. Well, let's hear it. So we've talked about me being curious with women and okay. I've never even like made out with the girl. Okay. But one day it will happen. Mm-hmm. And one day... I am. De- I will go. I'm okay with going down on women. Like I want to. Okay. It's I hot. just haven't been there. Okay. But I'm scared of what to do. Um, I mean, I will say this. Like the first couple times that I ever hooked up with a girl, that I went down on a girl, it was like very intimidating, and I didn't know if I was like doing it right. Right. Um, so I want to be like categorized with those other guys who like don't do sh- like you know what I mean. I'm yeah. like, no, I don't want to be I, one of those I would honestly. That's why, like, for me, like when it comes to to women, I'm more than happy to do belly button up. Sorry, belly button up, but I just like I get so. Your tilt the microphone. Well, I, I wanted okay. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, but then I have to stand up. Okay, anyways. Um, but like I get I get scared. I don't I don't know if I have the want to want to go down on a girl, but like and even just the thought of it makes me think like you know what I don't want to do it wrong, so I don't even want to try it. The totally best thing to do is like, like really clip. like really get them spread eagle like open up and then kind of like pull everything apart so you can really look at it. And it's so easy to find the fucking clit. I don't understand why guys struggle with it so much. I mean, I can't honest. talk shit. I just found my clit like barely a year ago. Oh, you'll see it. Anyways. But now I know where it is. Yeah. So I'll be fine. That's step so, one. And then you just start licking it. I, when I, when people go down on me, I like it when they like, you know, when they lick my clit kind of like an ice cream cone when it's like your full tongue, you're like, mm. Right? Yeah. Okay, full tongue. Same. So I do the same to girls, but some of them <coughs> like it differently. Sometimes just like the tip of the tongue, you like try sucking on it. So you kind of like suction on it a little bit and like pull it out and kind of like, you know, suckle on it. Is that the word I'm suckle? looking for? Yeah. Um, I like kisses. Yeah, that too. Oh. So but I like it like on the on the bone. So, you know, right where like, you know, right where it's cascading into the into the crevice and it's like, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> right when it's like cascading in and like, you know, your clits at the top, like that little area right there. Uh-huh. That's where I prefer most of the action. Yeah. But that's yeah. just me. So and I mean, yeah. sometimes like I like licking down by the hole, not just the clit sometimes, and, like especially if they taste good. So, I mean, the best thing that I get, the, the best advice that I can give when it comes to going down on a woman, the things that you like. Try those out on her and see if yeah. she likes them. See what gets her reaction. But, like, mainly just start licking and kissing and sucking. And, like, eventually you're going to feel and see, like, what she likes and then just continue doing that. I also think it's so hot when, like, my boyfriend eats me out and has a vibrator and, like, has the vibrator on my clip. But it's just, like, eating me out so, like, roughly around, like, my thighs. and my mm-hmm. Like, when it's, like, a little yeah. rough. Yeah, I like, like that. I like, like nibbling I, uh, around the area, like everywhere. Yeah. I yeah. Would you say it's less laborsome to lick a pussy than to eat a dick? Oh, or, good question, Cammy. <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, like <laughs> you know, choking the whole time. It's just it is it. It's, hard. it's a job, and I can't breathe. I don't. <laughs> honestly, I don't know if I can fully answer that. Just because, like, there. Like, does been, your jaw get sore? No, but your tongue, your tongue does sometimes. 
And like, and sometimes it's like, there's a lot of neck movement too. And if you're trying to keep like a good rhythm, sometimes it is laborsome. I don't know. I have neck movement with dicks. No. Yeah, that's yeah. that's true. I, I thought about that. Hurt my neck doing yeah. that. So I, I, I would probably say that they're equally laborsome. And it really just depends on like how quickly you can get them off. Because like if it happens quick, like you're, then it's not as tiring. But if it takes a long time, like after a while, like you do get. But the nice thing about like, well, I mean, they each have like their moments of reprieve, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. like if you don't want to use your tongue, then you just kind of start sucking on it a little bit. So like give your tongue a break. But like, or like with a dude, same thing. Like if you don't want to like be licking as much or sucking as much, you know, switch to the other motion. So I don't know. When it comes to pegging or hooking up with girls like it's just so hot like I remember one time I was strap or I was fucking a girl so she was in front of me so but it wasn't doggy because she was like kind of up sitting up straight Mm -hmm. so she was she like had her back against me and like I was fucking her and then I like reached around and like was like playing with her clit as yeah and like it's just like you feel the boobs you feel the body it's like soft it's so different than a man um and it's just it's equally as hot it's such a turn on so i don't know i'm i'm feeling very inspired to go hook up with women now that's like that's what i'm saying well we are going to a sex party right so (laughs) have at it (laughs) well and like you know my male partner currently or like the main one that i'm seeing like i'm very happy with his dick so now I'm like, you know, like maybe I'll go down on some girls tonight. I don't know. I love that. Yeah. I can't wait for that moment. Your cats could climb. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like looking. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like Ju- Junie could climb, but she's like doesn't really go on top like that. Like, mm. it's Yeah, I know they love it up there. We try to keep them off the counters, but it's only they're so they like big. I, they like, are big d- cats. Yeah. And, like it's like <laughs> you realize how small like Junie is. <laughs> Sorry. Some thick kitties. And they are so thick <laughs> boys. Honestly, my vagina is fat. Like I have a thick vagina. I have a fat very. I have a very. Yeah. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I get complimented on mine, by which I really like. I feel like I mean, as twins, would your vaginas look the same? They I think do. they look question. the same. Yeah. I've seen Kim- Kamala's vagina; it looks yeah. just like yeah. mine. Yeah. Okay. I, was gonna, I don't know. Yeah. If that was a weird question. No, yeah. no. I mean, I don't like. Yeah, I, I would say have, so. Yeah. They look about the exact same. I don't. I'm trying to think if there are like any differences, not that I can think of. Yeah, like my lips are like so thick. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's. Oh good, no, though. I'm not. I'm not even like ashamed about it. Like I just like I'm now. I'm, if I used to feel ashamed about it, but now I'm just like, there's nothing wrong with it at no. all. Like it's still. Like, men don't give a fuck. I was going to say, like, having gone down on women with, like, a variety of, like, vaginas, I guess, per se, um, yeah, it doesn't really, like, make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's no. just a little thicker. That's it. I don't know. I, yeah, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of women's bodies. Yeah. I love that. Oh, now, I'll let y'all know how my titty journey goes. Yeah. Yes, we need, like, wait, can we just dive into, like, what happened when you suck these titties? Like, what, like, how did this come I had out? no idea what to do. Um, she <laughs> had, and she how had, not know? she had, like, I really, like I would know what to do. She had, like, really, like, small, tiny nipples, kind of like I do. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, so they're <laughs> like mine, you know, except they're just bigger, but yeah. same size nipples. So I just, I started with some licking and then I went into sucking and a little bit of pulling. She seemed to like that. I what was really dope. I love getting my tits played with. Yeah. I actually have, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a bruise right here and then like another bruise right here from my partner that was um, sucking on them very roughly <gasps> last night. I, I love that. See. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That looks like Aww. lip marks on there. Yeah. Um, well, no, he was biting. He was biting right here, and then I he started love sucking right here. like biting. On the I love nipples. bites. I do. I, yeah. I think they feel good as now long I, as they're done the right way. Yeah. Now this one you'll notice is like right by my armpit. So my doms introduced me to the armpit area and how like how good it I've feels. Heard of this? Yes. And. I'm glad that now I know someone okay. that has experienced this. Let's dive into it. I know that we're running out of time, but no, I just... No, 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 you're good. Like, so I my, just need to know. my doms one time, we were all having... So it's a male and a female, and we were having a threesome together. Um, I've mentioned a lot of threesomes in this episode. I do have a, a plethora of threesomes, uh, male, female, male, male, 
I haven't done a threesome where it's three girls. I, that's that's on my bucket list. Anyways, so, oh. um, but what I really liked it, what they did is they, like, pinned me down with my armpits, uh-huh. like, with my hands above my head so, like, my armpits were exposed. And they both just started, like, licking and sucking, like, all around my armpit area. Wow. And it felt so fucking good. I would need to try like, that. Felt fucking good. I cannot even begin to describe how good it feels to have, like, especially right here, right. kind of this area where your boob. I'm insecure. Yeah. About my armpits. Okay, so I was insecure too, but like, I just feel like I don't know. Like, what if it smells? Okay, I had oh, deodorant yeah. on, and I was like, Oh yeah, my god, deodorant! Mine like, they taste smell right now. That's nice. And you know what they did afterwards? They were they li- he literally grabbed a towel and just kind of went like this, and then she w- did it like this, and they were like, and then they were, were just so happy that I enjoyed it. Like, they didn't even care. Yeah. So like that's one thing I love about hooking up with them. I think it's them. more so like I it it would take me a while to like not be in my head about it. I get that, and, and it, it took me it took me a little while too. But once it, once you feel how good it feels, you you kind of get out of your head because you're like fuck. So I and there was a clip on our Instagram where I talked about how I like the area right here uh-huh. specifically being like um, bit or sucked or played with or whatever. And so m- when my dude and I were having sex the other day. Um, he started like biting and like sucking that area. And I was like, oh my God, that feels so good. He was like, he's like, well, I saw that on your Instagram. I thought I'd give it a try. And then I grabbed his arms. He listened. I know, I know. Really proud of him. He's such a good guy. Yeah. Um, and then I pinned his arms down and I started doing that to his armpits. And he was like, fuck. <gasps> and I'm like, Damn. yeah. And Guys, I'm like, lick your man, wow. and your, lick your partner's armpits. Lick, lick your pitties. partner's armpits. Well, that should be the title of the episode, but we talk lick, about lick their pit- <laughs> No, we shouldn't yet. Yeah, lick their pitties. Lick their <gasps> pitties. Lick, lick their, their titties. Like, you know, anyways. Right. <laughs> well, we, now I kind of want my armpits to be licked. Yeah. Try it. And he. I need to try it. As soon as yeah. I did that to him, he was like, I get it now. And I'm like, yeah. He you was know, like, it's like the, I love the ear, the yeah. neck, the tits. Mm. So it's like. Try why the armpits. Why are we scared of the armpits? Try the, the armpits. armpits are kind of there too. Yeah. Like mm. they wouldn't make I, sense. I've had it here before, and I really liked it. So I just need to venture a little bit more. Out. Venture in and go go I mean, a little yeah, bit. I've in. had like all over here, right here. This spot right here also feels really good. <gasps> also feels really good. So Ryan, let me lick let me. my armpits. <laughs> Lick the pig. He's gonna be like, you can just stop lick hanging out with the, the twins. Like, there's all this weird lick shit. The no, I'm, honestly, he's <laughs> probably embracing it because like Brian's more of a freak than I am. <gasps> like I think he he's just like like he's definitely like way more like wanting to explore. Uh, maybe not pegging. So he's much. an Aries, right? Cancer. Cancer. Oh, cancer. Okay. Cancer. Mm-hmm. Libra. Sag. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like he's definitely like way like for me it's uh like i'm like horny too but i i like if i have a lot going on in my head i just i get distracted easily i get it but well, we all get there we all have that yeah. happens to all of us right so i need sex becoming more present <laughs> in sex i know like, i'm okay. getting kind of horny this episode this episode made me kind of horny i know i think because i'm also mm-hmm. on my period i'm extra hornier on my period i've said that on a, the last episode i really want to go eat out some women yeah. I want to eat out a pussy too. You really should try it. It's like I, I really feel like talking to you and like having your explanation, like I feel more confident. Yeah. And then peg a woman. Okay. That might take some time. Not because of me, but like I don't know how to bring that up to somebody. Do you want to peg? I respect <laughs> <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Would you like to <laughs> May I peg you? Would you like to get pegged by me? Yeah. Would you like to? May I peg you? I, well, here's May the thing. I it's like, I haven't even, like, made out with the girl. You know what I mean? So, like, me, Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, no, baby steps, baby steps. Right. Yeah, yeah. Start, start with kissing, then go into oh, the yeah. titties. Can I peg you? Like, that, yeah. you know? And then, you know, from there, explore. Like, I just, I like, I haven't gone through this experience with a woman yet, so it's just, like... I mean, I, like... I don't I, even know how to flirt with a girl. You know it, I mean? that, it's hard. In um, high school, like, our friend group and I, we all just made out with each other. Just, not Nikki and I, but, you know, everyone yeah. else. Yeah. Uh, you know, just to, like, practice and, you know, see what kissing girls was like. So we did that for in high school, college. See, yeah. my friends were not like that. Um, oh, we all were. We were also horny and, like, trying to figure it out. Yeah, we <laughs> would all watch porn together. I feel, like we're yeah, all, yeah. I feel like some of my friends, like, we were horny, but we were, like... And it's not there. Like, I think we were all kind of shameful of it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we didn't really, like. It's hard to create a safe space. Right. Yeah. And so, like, because deep down, like, a lot of us were, like, hoes. But, like, we just were, like, 
Low key Quiet hoes. Right. Yeah. Low key hoes. Like hose. too scared to like talk, you know. Yeah. But here I am now. But here we are. <laughs> whenever whenever you decide to explore women, I fully support you and I wish yeah. you the best. I mean, my boyfriend fully supports that. And it just, it just <laughs> hop on the dating apps. Be like, hey, I want to explore. Would yeah. someone like to go on that journey with me? I think for, like, I just, I think I just have this, like, weird, like, trauma. I don't know if it's trauma or, like, thing with, like, sex. Like, that I've been really kind of, like, having this conversation with myself, like, I, with my boyfriend, it's, like, different because it's, like, I feel safe. Mm-hmm. But, like, before him, when I was single, like, it was, like, I've had hookups. I've had friends with benefits. But it was always such a struggle to just, like, like feel good in that. Like, I don't know. Like, it's it's weird. Like, it's, like, I have to have, like, such a connection. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, There's I think it's normal for people to want to have a connection or to feel that Well, safety. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, maybe try to befriend a girl and build that platonic connection yeah friendship yeah but then like if i have a platonic connection with a girl i don't want to hook up with her i get that but you gotta pet pet you know pass that boundary pick a pick a girl you're sexually attracted to and just like go about sorry it threw me off (laughs) whatever that song i couldn't oh damn straight (laughs) whatever it is what what was that girl's name i don't even remember I don't know, but I if y'all know. have seen that TikTok, you I know what I'm talking about. The titties TikTok. are amazing. Oh, it's she really, and great. she's got that great, you know, top and she's that beautiful goes with, too. She's, yeah. beautiful, she's yeah. beautiful, yeah. She's um, gorgeous. I would say don't build a platonic friendship. Approach it like you would a friends with benefits. Yeah. See? Approach it like you that's would a friends with benefits. That's also the tough thing, because that was a tough thing with men too. That's but but yeah. you might women feel safer in it with women because yeah. I feel like women are, are, even though it is like, especially if you've always, you know, been with men, but you're curious about women. And so, you you know, you try the other side, which I definitely did. Like, it really, it takes a lot of time to kind of like, A, accept it. It took me a while to accept it. Years. B, also grow like confidence in it, which I understand. But C, also like understand how to read women because they're different than men. They really are. Exactly. It's all those things where it's like with men, it's, you know. Yeah, you know men, but you don't know women. So like the thing is, is like you really have to like just try and just see what works. Like the thing is, is like if you compliment them like, oh, I love your shirt, then they're just going to think you're complimenting their shirt. Exactly. It's different. You have to like, like, yeah. I remember I went to a sex party once and the girl was like, listen, I think you're hot and I'd like to hook up with you. And I'm like, thank you. Because I wish every girl was like that. Right. And so I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Sierra. Uh, no, anyway, so. Oh, no. <laughs> I but, mean, who knows? I'm Sierra. Um, <laughs> Sierra. This beat is automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. So, um, do I have to bleep that out? No. no. Um, oh, no? It's fine. So okay. I think... <laughs> Like you, you it, with women, it's good to be direct, um, but respectful. Obviously, right, I think right. women definitely like a little bit more, like kind of flattery and everything. But at the same time, like when it, it yeah, you really just kind of have to. I think I'm attracted try it out. to like, <clears throat> like more masculine women. I can see that. Like, like or women that could like kind of do bo- like Kaylani, perfect example, mm. where Kaylani could be like super androgynous and masculine, but then she could be like super sexy and feminine see, see i like to, to go for more feminine women i, I have no that. idea because like the the chick whose boobs i made out with she <laughs> had she was blonde Hi. oh kitty mm-hmm. um hey, hey. um she was like she was blonde you know had a bunch of like tattoos she had like a full i loved her tattoos tat yeah. that oh. i fucking loved but that's like, hot she gave off I like a tatted woman yeah but she gave off this like this perfect balance almost at least to me like that's what i got like she was feminine and masculine in a way because like it was mainly her and her partner playing together and then people would just watch or whatever. and um at one point though both of both of them were on my tits. So she was licking one tit, he was licking the other. But what I really liked about her was that she had like that both like masculine yeah, and feminine. I think we li- I feel like me and you would have like a similar like yeah. taste. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I think I need like a good balance of both. Cause you I guys like know, that you guys know that like that band like that band, the internet? Uh-huh. No. Odd future. Odd. Mm-hmm. The internet. Uh-huh. Oh, so there's a singer called uh, named Sid. And Sid is like an androgynous lesbian. I don't know if non-binary. I feel like this sounds familiar. Non-binary. Okay. I mean, I don't know if like if they're necessarily non-binary. I don't know. I don't actually don't know what, like 
her her they their pronouns are. But mm, okay, okay. Anyways, I fuck her. Mm. Mm. No, I you know who and I she's would like, fuck? She's very like androgynous, but like when she sings, it's very feminine. See, now I'm not afraid of a woman that's more masculine. I just prefer more feminine women. But I've there have been some masculine, more masculine women that I've seen that I'm like, yeah. I yeah. I think I I need that equal balance. Like for example, Sandra Bullock can get it from me any really? day, and she, yeah, I think she's hot. I think she's, she's balanced beautiful. too. She, she gives, gives off, off a very yeah. balanced energy in her feminine and masculine. Yeah, I see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think, Kaylani just does it for me for sure. Doja like, Cat. I was gonna say Doja, Doja Cat. Cat. Oh man, I think Doja Cat the is literally I everyone's. Would just I would let Doja would, Cat dom me. Yeah. yeah, I would fuck the shit out of Doja Cat. Like I mm. for sure, hundred percent. Mm. I think we're all attracted to Doja Cat. Doja Cat. How can you not be? Ugh, right. Just thinking about her. Anyways, um, so yeah. <laughs> that's something I needed to explore. When it's time, and all due timing. I never like I never ever want to force anything. Like no, even just yeah. yeah. Even just like I just I put things out, I manifest it, and it always does come, and I always want the C U M. Like, and I just <laughs> I just want things to happen naturally. I don't want to force it. Because I've yeah. talked about like experiencing with women before it just hasn't been the time no and I mean like for me too you know I definitely didn't force it I kind of really took my time in coming to accept it before I started exploring it so and then finally I just one day kind of took the plunge but even then I went slow when I did so yeah take it at your pace if it happens it happens and um, I would say I'm going super slow yeah but yeah, yeah, there's nothing I, wrong with that. I'm yeah. also like working through that like systemic shame in my mind of you know like you know Same. you shouldn't be with women Same. but I'm over here like you know what I can at least try it to see if I like it right so I'm going with the like I don't want to title myself anything yeah. because I, d- I don't know but I'm willing yeah. to try so I'm just you know I'm going with the flow you know if I feel like one night I want to you know try sucking some titties I'll, tr- I'll try it yeah. you, know? you did it I did it I'm actually very proud of myself and for did doing you like it. it so I did did you I like did. were you turned on like I sucking was, the titties yeah. Well, and that's the thing that that was the the difference for me is, you know, the the first time that I, I tried with, you know, having doing things with women at a sex party, it was mainly like them sucking on my boobs. And that actually did not do much for me. When, when women would suck on your tits? Yeah. But then I went in, you know, and, like, you know, connected with her and tried it out with her. It, but then when she sucked on my tits, like that, uh, that turned me on. And I don't know mm. if that was because like I had done it to her first or why. Mm, maybe it's a person. Maybe you're just a tra- more attractive. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's a person. Yeah. Maybe. Could be. Yeah. So. Mm. Or it's all different for everyone. Well, just I'm take your time. You. I'm so glad that you suck some titties. I'm, I'll be next one day. I'll suck some titties when yeah. it's the right time. Manifesting. This is what it is. We're just manifesting. Manifesting. I'm excited to suck, suck the next some pair titties. of titties that I come across. Suck some titties. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> plug yourself. We've talked about a lot. We did. I don't even know where that is. Kimmy ever- and Nikki um, of Double Teamed Podcast. Check us out on doubleteampodcast.com. And all the relevant links are there. You can find us on Twitter, IG, Reddit, TikTok. You can find us on Patreon, be our sugar daddy. Um, and yeah, you can also find us on OnlyFans. <laughs> Not that kind of content. We just... nope. We just, I just put it on there just for reach, oh, <laughs> tips right. and reach. Yeah. Do we put yeah. the episodes on there? No, the on YouTube though. Actually, I haven't done much with the OnlyFans, but I, I'm. I'm it's just keep, for our episodes. I'm going to keep it very professional. Yeah. So. I mean, you could sell your panties on there. I'll sell my panties Oh, that on too. There. That could be on there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, follow me, Stephanie Megan. We're going to broke therapy dot com. All that shit is there. Send me your stories, your questions. And your lives. I don't know. Yeah. If you've pegged a dude, tell us about it. Tell yes. us if yes. you've pegged a dude, let us know. Yeah. Tell us what you want us to talk about next time. <gasps> yeah. Cause we I'll throw myself in some other sexual situations. Yeah. See what Nikki, happens and then Nikki, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> we need Nikki to do all the shit for the content. She's gonna come back and be like, I put on a penguin suit and things <laughs> go weird. I'm okay. not opposed. I'm not opposed. I feel like she'd fucking do we it. We love the furries. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Broke girl therapy. 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 Broke girl therapy.